So what attracted me to Balanced View was a way of living, living life that was, was really free from all the suffering of my thinking, my emotions and sensations and just seeing a group of people who were just living so easily together and it was just very obvious that there's something about us as humans that's completely reliable, completely trustworthy, easeful, at rest, and yet vitally potent. So, um, yeah, I really wanted to know what this was about because I spent my, a lot of my time searching for a way to have freedom of, of mind. You know, basically I could see that my own suffering was due to the belief in, in, my, in my thinking. One moment thinking everything's good and then the next moment thinking, oh, it's all collapsed and it's not good. So there was a lot of trying to fix everything and the fix-it projects, were, they'd reach a certain point and then they would collapse. So, um, <laughs> I was also reflecting on uh, the gratitude for the Four Mainstays, just seeing how important it is to have a, a community of people relying on open intelligence when there is so much support in not relying on open intelligence. You know, in the media today, there's so much support in relying on, on data, on belief systems, assumptions. The assumption that we're, as humans we're somehow flawed and need to be fixed. And so the gratitude for short moments of hope and intelligence, there's immediate relief in those short moments. When we just stop thinking for a moment, we find that there's an ease that's available. We can always press that button to activate open intelligence. A gratitude for having trainings that completely confirm that everything is well, no matter the, the descriptions of data. Like to have something that you can just pick up and read any page and, and hear something confirming about our identity rather than dangling a carrot and saying maybe you'll, you'll be okay if you get rid of this affliction but actually confirming that everything we experience is naturally perfect as it is. It is the shining forth of open intelligence. And the media is also very inspiring when we hear people share their direct experience of what it was like before this training, what it was like during, and then what it's like now. It's not like there's ever an end point. Of the, this training actually just becomes a lifestyle gratitude for a lifestyle of complete empowerment, where every single moment is seen as an opportunity for complete empowerment. So it's not like you come to the training, you get empowerment, and then you go off and do your thing. It becomes just totally infused. We see that we have this practice of short moments of open intelligence repeated many times that supports us wherever we are. The media, like I was talking about, always available for complete confirmation of our natural perfection and our ability to be of great benefit to ourselves and others. And then to have a trainer, somebody to just rely on for complete empowerment, to open up any and all topics that we feel might be challenging or, you know, those areas where we feel like we're bumping up against the glass ceiling. We can't quite figure it out just to know that we have at least one person who will only ever see us as empowerment rather than a, a set of disempowered data. And then having a community of friends that it grows day by day. Every day there's more and more friends coming to hang out with us and joining in in empowerment. So knowing that we'll be supported with whatever comes up, whether it's the death of a family member or just the challenges we face on a day-to-day -day basis, we know we always have complete support. Where it's, it's no longer that we need to run to somebody and you know, hope that they'll agree with our data and confirm that, yeah, there's something wrong with us or something wrong with the world, but a community of people who will just only ever illuminate a solution for us. Powerful solutions that we can implement right in that moment. Like when you come here to the center and it's Monday morning, 
nothing was working, the power was out, the alarm didn't go off, the coffee machine didn't work, the, uh, the generator didn't work mm -hmm. to back up the power, and just the long list of things that could really send us into a complete catastrophe, there's immediate relief. It's like you look at one of the community members and you think, solution, what is it? Or you write to your trainer, you know, I, I need some help clarifying this. Or you think, oh, short moments. Actually, everything falling apart is a complete empowerment. <laughs> An ability to rely on open intelligence and see the data have no independent meaning of their own. Like to not collapse into the whole catastrophe of descriptions. That's where we find more and more assurance. And it's not that we're letting go of control, so to speak. I mean, we don't become out of control people. We actually find the skillful means to see what is needed in each time, place, and circumstance that doesn't even necessarily need a to-do list. And a to-do list can be helpful as well. But seeing spontaneously how to use all of this dynamic energy to be of great benefit. So the catastrophe in the Monday morning could be seen as something so negative that it would affect the rest of our day, or we allow it to be exactly as it is. And it's this dynamic energy to be of great benefit. So there's a very powerful shift in the way we see our data. It's, a, it's an important shift to no longer be at the whim of data, to no longer be at the whim of the positive and the negative and the neutral, but to actually see it all as complete empowerment. Because we'll always face some sort of challenge, and this training provides a way to face it head on with, with assurance and ease, and knowing that we have all the support we'd ever want. You know, just like when I go to the beach now, I see so many community members. It just feels like being at home everywhere. And I see the immense power being spread throughout just a small place like Arambol. Like all of us going to the beach and hanging out with people. And there's a wordless communication that exudes confidence, benefit, ease, a welcomeness, an openness. Rather than feeling shut down and isolated, I see it's just naturally opening up. And people see us and they're like, wow, that person looks easy to talk to. I don't know what it is, and, but I just know I want to talk to them. And I find that really, that's just, that's our natural way of being. You know, we don't need to isolate and defend and protect. So the, the 12 Empowerments Training, um, it's one of the fundamental trainings of balance view, and after completing the empowerments, we see that we we really see how we've built up a lifetime of descriptions, our belief systems, our assumptions, and it can seem like there's more and more data streams that we're aware of, and they're they're very evident and in our face, and it can seem like they're running riot. It's important to remember it's still that too is the dynamic potency of open intelligence. So we remember in short moments many times not to collapse into the description, to you know, immediately reach out for the support, to empower that rather than to spin off in data streams. It's a bit like the fan and the ceiling here. If we were to shut it off, it takes some time for it to completely stop. So believing in data and emphasizing data, avoiding data, it's like let's been spinning our entire lives and we switch it off and then it takes some time to just wind out. But you'll have all the support just to clarify every every instant. And the short moments haven't gone anywhere. It's not a moment, a moment, a moment. It's a spontaneous opening. So short moments aren't a thing. They're not it's not a mechanical practice short moments, resting as we are in this very moment, allowing open intelligence to become more and more obvious. The data descriptions are outshone, like the planets and stars are outshone. When the sun rises, you, you just can't see the descriptions any longer. And all you see is brilliant, potent open intelligence.
and less and less does it seem like there's a somebody to achieve something, to be somebody, to fix someone. It's just open intelligence in operation, <laughs> like open intelligence agency. And w another important thing that I noticed um, was that I had complete responsibility whether or not I wanted to act out on the data that I experienced. So if I had, if we have data about other people, we have complete power to not act on the data. So if we feel that we don't care about others or whatever it might be, that if they're not relying on open intelligence, we, we can choose to let that be as it is or not. It's, it's really that simple. Of course, we can experience all kinds of things. We might even, after doing the empowerments, we feel so open, and then all of a sudden we feel hatred towards somebody. That's just the next description in, in open intelligence. By allowing it to be as it is, it more and more opens up, and the description of hatred naturally self-releases. But if we continue to emphasize it, it just seems to have more momentum than when we allow it to be as it is. As it is. And, um, good, I think we're getting short on time here, so... Yeah, just these trainings, it's... it's yeah, but it could be boredom, excitement. Every day is different. It's the dynamic energy of open intelligence. <coughs> Allow the flow to be exactly as it is. If you're bored, just jump in the service. <laughs> Do more service. <laughs> more service. <laughs> I don't mean that in some yeah, harsh way, but just test it out. The service here is really, it's so empowering to work with a team of people who will just blow your mind and how powerful we all are. We're just all so amazing. And we have so much to contribute. 